I'm a big fan of low-tech simple solutions that, that can be beautiful as well and functional. Um, so for instance, the, the cable trellis system that we developed, it, it, it's, a, it's a system that uh, happens on the western facade of the lower two buildings uh, that are adjacent to the pool courtyard. There were kind of two issues. One is, you know, in late summer uh, in Arkansas, this time of year that we're in right now, it gets brutally hot along the western facade. And then we also had these uh, spaces that opened directly to a pool courtyard and we wanted to create kind of a buffer or a zone, not just for shading, but also for privacy and to help veil uh, the privacy between indoor and outdoor, and at the same time create spaces. So the uh, one, our low-tech solution was we were putting on a new gutter. What if we span from the new structural gutter down to a new retaining wall that we needed to cut into the site? And we just spanned it with galvanized cable and then let um, you know native plantings or native vines grow up that. And so over the course of the summer, they make their way up, they leaf out, and when it becomes the hottest part of the year, um, it provides a, a real sense of shade and privacy and canopy that, that's really important for the, that, that exposure to the sun. Another kind of low-tech, dumb solution, which I, I think are always end up being good solutions, is we, we used a six, six foot diameter galvanized pipe and turned it vertical to become a rainwater uh, collection cistern. So 50% of the rainwater that hits each of the roofs uh, between the two buildings that each cistern sits between actually is a 4,200 gallon cistern that collects that water and then contains it and uses it for the drip irrigation system for the community garden um, or the other residual garden spaces that, that we have here. And, and, and you know, you see the lush landscape um, despite the, the drought we've had, you know, we're still able to collect anything we do get and use that in that system.